My name is Alistair Lee. In this short video, I'm going to take a look at the new ability to convert a recording to an MP4 file using your local system with Adobe Connect 9.5. To do that, I've logged into an Adobe Connect account. I'm going to click on Meetings to access my personal meetings and choose my personal meeting room here and select Recordings. This will give me access to all of the different recordings I've got with this personal meeting room. There are a number of reasons why we might want to take an existing recording, which already has a URL that I can distribute, and create an offline or an MP4 copy. The biggest one is so that mobile users, users using iPads, Android devices, will be able to view the recording. To do this, I've got an Actions menu, and this gives me the ability to edit the recording, remove some of the content, make it anonymous, even remove some of the pods, or create an offline version. So I'm going to click Make Offline, and this will open up my recording in a separate window. Now that the recording's been opened up, I'm able to create an offline version. So I'll do that first by clicking the Next button. And now I've got the ability to create either an FLV version, which has always been a part of Adobe Connect. But now in Adobe Connect 9.5 and later, I've also got the ability to create an MP4 copy of this recording. In addition to the format, I've also got settings or presets for the quality. So we can go anywhere from a mobile version of this recording. And you can see the window automatically shrinks. So we're actually going to record this window. And this will give me a 480p uh, resolution for mobile devices. I can go to a desktop version, which is 600p in terms of resolution, HD, which is 720p, and full HD, which is 1080p. I'm going to scale it back here to HD. You'll also notice that if you're familiar with video codecs and encoding, we do make these advanced options available. So rather than using one of these presets, I can click on advanced options and manually specify the resolution that I'd like to use, the bandwidth I'd like this video encoded at, the quality, so this will affect the amount of compression that's applied to the video. We'll keep it at 90 here the frames per second. The default here in HD is 30, but we can adjust that to be 15 if we want a smaller file size, as well as the profile. And these profiles work with MP4 videos. You can check out Wikipedia for more information on profiles, but the baseline profile is the most widely supported among devices, but probably will give you the biggest file size, whereas main and high will be less widely supported, but create a more efficient file. I'm going to leave the profile at main, it's supported by all modern browsers, and even set this as the default and click proceed with offline recording. And at this point, it, Adobe Connect will actually ask me where to save my MP4 file. I'm going to select my documents library. It's already created a file name based on the name of the recording, and now I'll click on the save button to save this offline. Now this offline copy will take a number of minutes to create. In fact, it'll take the same amount of time to create my offline copy as it did to create the original recording from that live meeting. So if you've got a one hour meeting, it will take you one hour to create this offline version of the recording. That doesn't mean I need to sit here and watch it though. I can continue working in the background while Adobe Connect creates my local MP4 copy. That's a quick look at creating MP4 versions of your Adobe Connect recordings using Adobe Connect 9.5 or higher. Thanks for your time.